So, um, so where are we? So today um, we are part three, part three. I can't do three like that because I can't put my fingers down. That's weird, isn't it? Well, I can't. Anyway, um, uh, so I we're on part three and last week we did this bit, didn't we? Which is this bit. And all I've done is I've added a few extra bits. Now, I can't remember whether I did these on camera or whether I did these afterwards. But all I've done is just added in a couple of extra rusty bits, okay? So this is a tuck at the top. Um, so it just tucks like that. And it's just out of a, just made a bit of metal that I rusted. Um, so I think, I think I did do it on, because I talked about rusting and the, the copper, 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 and how to do it. Anyway, so we've made this bit, and then we're going to go on to here. Now, I'll, this is devastated, and I don't know why it says devastated on it. I don't really, can, can you see that? I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, you can. You can see it, because like, I've just seen it on camera. So, mm, maybe not as good now. But, yeah, you can kind of just see it says something out there. I don't know why it says it. But, anyway... Um, and I like it. I like the fact that it says that. Um, so anyway, I'm really sorry. I feel like my mental health, uh, sorry, like my brain is going blah, 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 and it's all coming out rather than staying inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this part today. Okay. So a couple of things I want to talk about is, so this is made up of envelopes. I'm just going to put that to one side. I'm really sorry. I feel like I need to apologise to you guys because, like, my brain's firing all over the place and you don't live in my brain and you have to kind of put up with it. So I'm really sorry. So what we had on this one is um, we, we've we got, like, a little... This is actually just a, um, a file index card L, yeah? So, and all that is is that just tucks inside there to keep that all closed so that when you're... Oh, let me see it won't go. There you go. Uh, so when you're flipping it, it doesn't flop open. Flip it and flop it open. Um, and so inside here, there's just a few um, envelopes. Now, I'm not going to make it exactly the same. Um, oh, Dave, get it back in there. There you go. Okay, so I'm not going to make it exactly the same, but I want to talk to you a little bit about envelopes. If you don't mind me talking about envelopes? Hardly the... the height of entertainment talking about envelopes but um i use envelopes of all sorts now people say where do you get your envelopes from um i get them from everywhere so i get them new okay so these this is a new one it's unused it's even still got the oh it's all got the hair on it i think it's off my moustache to be fair um it's got the peely strip off peely strip off on Peely off strip on. Oh, I don't know. You figure it out yourselves. Um, so <laughs> it's still got that on. And then I've got, what else have I got? This is also another new new one. And this is one of those ones where you fold it up and it's sticky there. And it, So that's another new one. You can also use these. You'll have seen these. You get bills like I do. Um, and if you, you know, if you don't get bills like I do, then you can have mine. Not my envelopes, you can have the bills, I mean. Um, so these are just now I've become I've started getting better at when I open an envelope to not just tear it open. You know, um this one I just tore open because it was from it was about my hospital appointment, etc. But all of these things, don't worry about the fact that it's got printed information on it or it might have a a franking mark on it that all adds to the interest look there's even one from spec savers should have gone to spec savers i did and i won't go back um and you can buy envelopes that are like crafty envelopes and then you can get you know just ordinary just envelopes from cards and things that you've never you've never used so that's what i do with billing envelopes and then what i do is i copy dye them so just a word of warning if you're going to coffee dye um just be careful if you're coffee dyeing and you've got a windowed envelope or envelope depending on who you are it's like scone or scone or vase or vase um so 
if you've got a windowed envelope, do not think, oh, it's got a bit crinkly, I'm going to iron it. It's actually plastic. It looks like glassine, but it isn't glassine. It's plastic. And if you iron it, it'll be stuck to the bottom of your iron forevermore. Duh, duh, duh. Um, so also don't put them in the oven because, again, they'll melt. Yeah. Um, unless, of course, you don't mind not having the window in it, then that's fine. Um, what you'll need to do is if you've got one of these type of envelopes, you just need to leave it to dry naturally. Okay. Patience is a virtue of which I do not possess. So mine tend to go in the oven anyway. Um, then these are some, so they, they're some bill envelopes. And then these are some, oh, what was, there's one that's, um, that was obviously sent to me. Uh, they're not e the easiest things to open without ripping, but don't worry too much if it rips a little bit because it just adds to that charm. Okay. Um, but coffee died again. And then these were just new um, airmail envelopes that I've again coffee dyed and done something exciting with. I do have another one. You just have to bear with me a second because I'm going to move away from the camera. Um, and then these are like just the the normal, I think they're five by seven size. We're talking inches now. Going old school. Yeah, they fit a five by seven card. Yeah. So this is a five by seven envelope. And all I've done is I've just coffee dyed it. Okay. I actually love coffee dyeing when it goes like this. And then, you know, you've got another type of envelope. Okay. So these are just new envelopes. So I think I feel like I've flogged the envelope horse to death. Now yeah. I'm going to move on. So what I was thinking of, instead of doing a direct copy here, we're going to mix it up. So this bit here, we're going to mix up a bit. Okay. If you don't mind, and if you do, I'm sorry. I can only do what I can do. So, because I put that um, rusted plaque on, what I now need to do is I need to cover it up so that we're not catching our fingers on these because they're, they're not sharp, sharp, but you don't want to be like catching your... Oh, and that goes under your nail. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, I'm thinking maybe a mixture of, do we want those on there? Maybe those, I'm kind of winging it today. Um, the prep I wanted to do just didn't happen. Um, my brain was elsewhere and I was kind of obsessing and worrying about other things. So, um, so we could have it like that but then that's starting to look very much like the next bit so instead of doing that what i'm going to do is i'm going to have i think i'm going to go for these now i've put laid these out because i obviously wanted to do this so i've just got three envelopes that are the same size and i'm going to lay them like this and then i can have something else down here you see Lay them like this and then have one on here. Now, what I'm planning to do is have one that flips up like that, that reveals the two envelopes that then open out like this. Yeah. And we can even have another pocket in there. Okay. So are we happy? Are you happy for me to go ahead? <laughs> Not that I'm asking you. This is going to happen anyway. So we're going to do that. We can't just put plain, boring envelopes in, can we? I can't hear you. It's not a pantomime. So, um, so of course, we're going to decorate them. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I do realise that I'm probably going to get a glare from that light. And I will try and resolve that by maybe pushing it away a bit. And hopefully the light doesn't completely disappear. The problem That's the problem with it being October. Um, it's all kind of got a bit dark on us, hasn't it? So... There's a piece of cardboard here. If I put that there, hopefully that won't. Do you need your sunglasses on? Apologies. Oh, well, there you go. Just it's caught up with the cat. I've caught up with the camera now, and I can see what's happening. So, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to decorate these. Now you know that I I have a bit of an obsession with um, napkins. Okay. Some people have asked me where I get my napkins from. Well. I'll get a lot of napkins from high street stores. 
you get a lot a lot of napkins from TK Maxx, um, from um uh, in fact Brian gets them from H and M um and like we share them between us, all the supermarkets, whatever. You can get lots of different funky napkins from them. But also I do buy them online. Um and they're something like I don't know, they're 12 pence each or something like that, sometimes 24 pence each, which I don't think is bad considering the amount that you get from them. Okay, so I will share where I get them from like separately. Um, I am not, not advertising them and I don't get any commission. Maybe I should. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate these up. Okay, so we're going to do our my classic style. I'm just think, trying to think about colours now. Remember, I... I want it to stay quite, I don't know, industrially sort of looking. You know, it's like it's come from an office, it's off cuts, etc. I've added some extra colouring with these envelopes, but I, I like them. They fit because they have that kind of buff feel to it. Um, as a child, I couldn't stand that, that feel. Now, as an adult, I don't mind it. So, um, I'm just looking at things that might kind of be tonally right so they've got nice pinks in it the mushrooms as much as i like them they won't fit it's not i want it, i've got a project for that no not for not for this or well, maybe that i don't know maybe that it's another pinky colored one now i'm not not necessarily going to use all of these remember you just kind of making basically a color palette and you use what you like when you get to it okay um quite like it may, might be a bit bright I think although I quite like that I've, I've done owls owls aren't going in this journal it's another thing Ooh. owl um, so <laughs> I like that I've already used that one um, these are just individual ones that I bought from that place that I, that I said about I quite like those ones they're a bit more caricature-y that's not going to be going in here Oh, it could go in the background, I guess, maybe. Mm. Maybe, you see, look, we've got far too many um, napkins for what we need. I've got a project for that. Don't think I want those in there. No, and not those. Okay, so let's get rid of those. So that's our edit done. Are you with me? So... So I'm going to talk about, keep going to move that, and then I realise that that's stopping the light from bouncing. So, um, so I didn't realise I didn't clean my glass mat either. Apologies for that, dirty boy. Um, so, so, okay, so that, so these are going to work like this now. Just you, you just kind of want to get it in your head how these are going to work because if you start then decorating it and it's upside down, you don't want to end up with them like this yeah okay so just have an idea and keep them the way up that you need them to be and that one doesn't matter because we're going to turn that into a pocket rather than an envelope okay so um i'm going to start with the background and i might go for I might go for something like that in the background okay so remember i said how to separate your um your napkins i've told you this before so i just use a piece of sellotape and on the back pop it down in the corner yeah and pull it up yeah and you can separate that first layer comes off and that's just a white piece if i'm if i'm told you all of this before i apologize though i know that there are some people that are watching that might not have watched before so um i'm just wary aware of those not wary of those i'm not scared of you don't worry um let's that off i'm gonna pull those apart now i'm gonna keep that layer because look it's got love it's still got a lot of nice type on it in fact maybe that's the kind of thing i want in the background It's just a bit, I think the envelope's too dark, so I might put this on instead. 
Okay, yeah, I'm a bit happier with that. I'm happier. The colour will still come through. Remember, when this is wet, the colour will come through more, but then when it dries out, it'll kind of fade back again, but not as bad as now. David, please. Right, okay, so I know that lots of people will use this. Mod Podge. Yeah, this is watered down. If you are going to use it, use watered down Mod Podge. Now, I will... It says I will. I might find a, a paintbrush. Just bear with me a second. I am just uh, my my hand's still here. I haven't gone. I'm still here. I am just out of shot for a moment. Right. I found my Mod Podge brush, which is what I was looking for. And it's just a cheapy little. I think it's from the works. To be fair. Okay, and this is watered down. Um. Mod Podge hasn't been open for a while, so it's always a case of what's in here. There you go, that's fine. So, I'm happy to use watered down Mod Podge, or if I'm not going to use Mod Podge, I will use, just use a glue stick to do it, okay? Um, the reason why I'm using Mod Podge on this, and you know that you guys already know that I don't, I don't like the feel of Mod Podge on my fingers. Um... But the reason why I'm using this is because what it does do is it because it's a bit sturdier, it adds a bit of stability to it, to the envelope. So it becomes a bit more firm, if you will. A bit like how my waistline's going. Getting firm. Well, it's not, not at the minute, but hopefully it will do at one point. See, Dave, if you start things off and then you think you really should have your glue book behind. But I didn't, so... It's tough. The thing is with Mod Podge, you have to work quite quickly because it does dry out, especially because this is quite porous surface. So this all this is all sucking all of that moisture out. Okay, so new page. I've committed. It's gone down. So oh. rest it on and then get your card, your loyalty card or whatever it is. Or you might have a proper scraper or your palette knife or whatever you want to use. But you, what you're just going to do is you're just going to apply it to the, the surface. Do not rub. Do not be tempted to smooth your hand over it. What you'll do is you'll just break all of the the napkin. It's, it gets quite soggy and it'll just fall apart in your fingers. So don't worry if it crinkles. You do have a bit of time to be able to lift it back up again. But, you know, a bit of crinkling. Anybody ever seen an old newspaper? I tell you now, they're not in great shape. Okay, so if there's any bits where it's not quite down, just pop a bit more Mod Podge behind. And if you're going to put Mod Podge on the top, don't drag your brush over it because it will, you'll just pull the whole thing apart. So if you're going to do it, just kind of tap it over. Okay, so it says, and then creates that hole that I've just said about. Okay, so if you create a hole, it's fine. I'm not going to cry about it. All I'm going to do is rip a bit of, of napkin off from somewhere else. I'm just going to stick that over the top. Um, there we go. Oh, he's done it again. Oh. There we go. Bit of, bit of teasing. I sorted it out. Okay, so there you go. So you've ju just learn from my mistakes. Don't try and drag your brush over it because you, you're going to make holes in it. Okay. So once it's on, give it a bit of a press down. The other thing I've got that I use is. This was from, oh, it's falling apart. It's, it's dropped on the floor a million times. This is from Wilkinson's. This is just a roller for when you're doing um, pasting, uh, not pasting, when you're trying to, um, what's the stuff that you stick on the wall that's paper? Wallpaper, that's the one. It's just, it, all it is, is it's... Oh, you see, now I've, it's, it's already gone tacky. 
Oh well. So when it's a bit drier, I would suggest that you use that just to push it down. Um, it's uh, just one of those things for creating, connecting the... Oh, good grief, Dave. For joining the wallpaper. You know, when you run it down the join, I don't know, I don't wallpaper, so like, you know, this is the closest thing I get to wallpaper. Um, so all I'm going to do is peel this off. Now, you'll you'll notice I haven't worried about this, this leaf, and that's because that's going to be glued down. You're not going to see it. So I have used Mod Podge on this, and I wouldn't normally, and that's why I'm in this mess. So the next part I'm going to do, I'm going to do it my way. And if I have to then coat it with a bit of Mod Podge, I will to make it a bit firmer. So I think I'm also going to put some of this on this one and I might use the light coloured stuff. <sighs> Which way round is it, Dave? Because it'll be, there you go, it's that way round. So. Instead of using, oh, I've got it right up my nose now or something. I don't know. I hope it's not Mod Podge. Get the lid back on. Don't know why I'm singing, but I'm singing to you. Okay, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to use my Old Faithful. This is what I normally use. You know, when you start thinking a bit clever and you go, oh, you're going to do this on camera. And it all goes horribly wrong. And it says, there you go. See, that's what you get for being cocky. OK, so all, that's what I, this is what I use. So you don't have to go out and buy Mod Podge because if you don't have it, this is the best. This is my, this is my way of doing it. You're not going to get in such a pickle from doing this. OK, so I'm going to lay this over. Like this. Huzzah. Oh, sorry, I forgot to talk. Man. Um, <laughs> just thinking, I quite like the way that's gone. Um, so this, you see, I can be a bit more, a bit more firm with. And the reason for that is it's not nowhere near as wet, but you're still going to get great adhesion from it. Adhesion? Is that a word? I think it's a word. Um, so, all the whiter areas are just where the it doesn't have as much glue, so it's not, you know, but it's fine. It's, it's a bit random. It's absolutely fine. Don't fret about it. Don't worry about it. You know, want to get your your my other rollers like um, gloopy with Mod Podge, so I won't use that. If you want to use one of them, just to kind of stick it down. I've got everything at hand here. It's like being in a cockpit. Okay, so take this off. Uh, gone a bit sticky. So I'm going to dry this off. <laughs> um, it's all gone wrong. Oh dear. I, I, in my YouTube one, when I put this on YouTube, I might cut all of these out because, like, I could make a blooper roll. So I'm just going to dry this out just so that I can go, move on to the next stage much quicker. Give this one a bit of a squidge over as well. So I keep moving that and I realise that that's what it's there for. So it's entirely up to you what you do and how you go about it. Okay, so don't don't worry. If you want to use Mod Podge, go ahead, use Mod Podge, knock yourself out, like don't literally knock yourself out, obviously. Um, but if you want to go ahead and do that, do that. That's fine. Okay. Um I'm not your papa, I'm not going to say no or yes or three bags full or whatever, okay? You do what you like. There are no, there, are, there is no, there are no rules. Okay, so just, sorry for the 
constant noise. It's like being in a hair salon, isn't it? Um, okay, so how are you going to get this off here? Well, a couple of things that you can do is you can peel, just tear it off. Yeah, you can cut it off, but I like to, well, I like to, if I can get hold of it, sand it off, get a, an emery board. Oh, look, it's colour coordinated, except for this is dirty. And just sand it. Don't sand too much, because what you're going to do is you're going to sand away the hinge on your envelope or envelope. And then just pull it. Okay, and then lay it down. So again, um, you know, if you want to go, if you want to buy the specialist equipment for this, so like you want to go and buy proper sanding blocks, uh, lots of companies do do them, you know, do that. Um, I just go for a, an emery board. Um, they might wear out quicker, but you know, it's, it's sandpaper, isn't it? At the end of the day, it all wears out. So yeah, so just rubbing down the down the edges just to get this to come off nicely. Um, you know, us crafters, we're right spoiled for all of the different things that we can buy to be able to do things. But but also be a savvy shopper. Don't buy the things that you don't need or the things that you you know. Somebody once told me about buying a sewing machine. You should buy a sewing machine for the craft for the the sewist you want to be, and not for the one that you are. When in crafting, it's different. I think that you should buy the the craft materials for the crafter you currently are, and start building yourself up. Otherwise, what you do is you overwhelm yourself and think, "I can't do that." Sorry, I've just realised this is a bit damp on that side. So yeah, don't overwhelm yourself with buying everything and then thinking i can't do that i don't know what i'm doing that's why people go out and buy those um cutting machines um you know if it's uh if it connects to a computer and then you can't use a computer what is the point of that so i've got lots of cutting machines because i'm not afraid of computers and i use a lot of computers and i teach people i've taught people to use computers etc um but don't overwhelm yourself with craft. You don't have to. So, just drying this off. Now, I like the the scuzzy edge on this. You might not. You might not. You might not. But if you don't, then don't have one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over it with some vintage photo. Just to kind of like... Make it look a bit more like an old newspaper. Don't go too heavy. All you're doing is just kind of like taking that white look away from it. And this is why I wanted to kind of dry it better, but I haven't got the time to dry it better. You will have. You'll have plenty of time. You won't have to do this in an hour. You're, not, you're doing a marathon, not a sprint. I'm doing a sprint. So that's all I've done on that one. Okay, I'm going to do the same on this one. I like a nice dark edge. You know that you guys know that I'm a bit, like, perhaps a bit overpowering for you guys to have such a dark edge. You do it the colours that you want to do. If you want to do it with, like, um, so the lightest one that I would ever use is um, antique linen. So if you want to use that over it, then do that. I mean, obviously, there are other um, ink pads are available. I'm definitely not sponsored by um, Ranger or Tim Holtz. Which has to be a fine thing. Um, so, not sponsored by anybody, to be fair. This episode was brought to you with um, the words insanity inane and botch your way through it that's what that was brought to you with so, okay so i've got these these are looking a bit older now okay so now i'm thinking about making a, like kind of layering it up so if we look in the original 
portfolio. We've kind of like, well, I've made this out of like um, layering up um, paper. Um, I've just left these quite plain. I've got a, a photo on here, a, a faux Polaroid or a Folaroid as I like to call them. Um, so we're just making, we're just winging it now. Okay. So I think I might put this one on it. I would have get it apart. Sometimes they're just easy to pull apart. You don't, you don't have to piddle about with a bit of sellotape. And other times they aren't. Like now. Ain't nobody got time for me to like just sit and try and pull that apart. It's like a stick in plastic. Sometimes you just have to rip it off. Okay, is there any pattern on that? No, no point keeping it then. It's great for mopping up though, if you've got, if you need to mop things up. So I think I'm gonna put that one maybe on there or maybe on there. Um, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's get your thing. I feel if my brain hadn't been spending too much time stressing about other things I might have been more prepared for today so um but that's the way things go isn't it we can't always prepare for everything back to work as well tomorrow so I think that's in my head thinking oh blimey how many emails am I going to get in the office to the problem is when you've had an, any annual leave, you spend the first day dealing with all of the emails that you weren't there to receive. Um, and catching up with all the gossip and what's going on. Yeah, I like that one better. Okay. So I realise that I'm going to obliterate some of this, but you will start, you will see some of it come through. So don't worry too much about it. And I've learnt my lesson. Don't try and be clever. I'm just going to go over this with some of my trusty glue stick. I say it's trusty because I know it works. I've tried other ones. I know some people have said, oh, you should try this one. Or you should try this one. I still like Elmer's. Not Elmo. It's like that's somebody from the Muppets, isn't it? Um, and I love the Tesco one. So again, not sponsored by Tesco. Uh, just happen to love what they've, what the offering they have. I think I'm going to go there with that. It's like scissors, you know, when you put them down, and you can't find them. realize you might not be able to see this but I can see the print the newspaper print coming through those things and that's what I like it's that's about adding layers depth um, texture to the whole thing okay there we go um, again just going to go over that one side. I think this one I might have some mushrooms on and have maybe a few of those. I think I'm melting my card. Oh, I am. So you spent an hour with me, what sounds like drying my hair. So, But as we are well aware, I don't have any. So, um, you know, I have a bit at the back, a precious bit at the back. It's downy soft, but oh, I at least I have a full head of hair and I used to have it all sorts of different colours. But then I used that wash and go. I washed it and it went. But um I'm here for the jokes. So just tear this off. Remember, you're not trying to completely sand it off. You just want to get it to the point where it'll just tear off nicely and leave a nice, nice line. 
And if it tears off and it doesn't leave a nice line, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Okay, just turn that off. I'm not even going to bother with that bit there. That's fine. Okay, so, so that's that one. Speed crafting now. Then we have this one. So I do did have. Ba, 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 la, 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 no, I don't know where it is. But I this. Oh, I have used this one before. Yes, I'm just going to tear one of these off. No, maybe Dave. Try not dare it. Try and cut it. Cut it, Dave. So, it's fine to cut your napkins down to a usable um, state, but don't cut your images out. I mean, like, if you want to, you want to, that's fine. I'm not stopping you. Um, no, Dave, that's not what you're doing. It's that that you're doing. Um, but if you want, it, if you want a, like a bit more of an authentic edge to it, then I suggest that you either use water, not water pistol. That's another thing, Dave. Where's my pen? Water pen. You use it, either use a water pen, or you can't find your water pen. <laughs> Somebody tell me where it is. What did I do with it? Oh, it's there. Put it back. The Teach me for putting things back, wouldn't it? Um, you can either use a water pen or tear it. Don't. I would suggest that you just tear it out gently, rather than than cutting it. You get much less defined line, and it looks so much more natural, like like it was meant to be there. So. Because you get these like little frayed edges. I know I've said all of this before, but you know, well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Don't actually know what I'm talking about now. Just using metaphors. Um, I could be using semaphore, which would be even worse. Um, I just think how much we can actually see of this. So I might put those on and then. Right, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lose this in its entirety. There we go, much more water coming through now. So that's it. So we've got that, that bit off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that on, but I'm also going to use this part of it as well, but not all of the greenery. So I'm, I'm taking the elements that I want. I'm not worrying about the bits that I don't. You, you know, you're making your own art. You know, if you were painting, you wouldn't just use all of the colours in the palette. You'd use the colours that you'd selected. So I'd do the same with your napkins. Select the bits that you want and edit. And you see, look how that, that'll be nice layered up. Okay. I might even use this cornflower as well. Blimey, the hour does not go quick. I know it hasn't gone yet, um, but 40 minutes has passed. So okay, maybe that go, could go there somewhere. Yeah, okay, so um, is that the final edit? It's the final edit. So going over again with my glue stick, not glow stick, not to be confused with glow sticks. Don't take one of these to a rave with you um, if you go to raves. Uh, I don't know, I'm a bit old for a rave to be fair. Actually, if I go out and I do go, I don't I go out very often, but if I do go out, I feel like I have to sit down at about 10 o'clock. And then about half past ten, I'm just thinking, oh, I'd like, rather be at home. Nice cup of tea. <laughs> and yet I used to be out all night partying. I used to go to work directly from being out, like literally directly from being out. I'd get on the, I used to live in Coventry, well, that's where I'm from. And I'd get on the last train 
um, from Birmingham to Coventry um, and get home, get back to Coventry and then go out again. Um, or I would get on the first train um, from Birmingham New Street back to Coventry in the morning and then go just go straight to work. I can't do that now. Those days are gone, well and truly gone. So I'm layering these up, so you just have to be mindful that it, this won't stick to that because it's got no glue on it, and this won't stick to that. So you just got to put some more glue down. Don't worry if you've got a couple of folds in things. Put some glue on this. Just be careful if you're going over the napkins with glue. I know I've said this before, but just be careful because you will just split the napkin again. So pop that over there. Dry it off. Back on your blue on your paper thing. I can't even think what they're called. Realising your errors on the way. Any bits that haven't glued down, just glue them down. You know, when I come off being live, I end up, like, with bits just strewn everywhere. And then I, have to, I spend another hour tidying up and then I'm reading your messages and replying and commenting and interacting with you so you know that I know that you're there. You know that I know that you're there. Yeah, that. Um, and... Um, so obviously this is when I'm doing a live, if this is on YouTube, um, then you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, so then, yeah, and then I, I like save the video and then I upload it to my YouTube. So I, it takes me about three hours to do everything. And then I go and have something to eat. So I'm just going to tear those off there. A bit more speed. Okay. So now I will say that if you are going to do this, uh, you are going to have to apply some kind of ink because at the moment it's quite white on a dark background. So you're going to have to apply some ink to blend it back in again. So I'll just go over this and you'll see what I mean. Oh, man. So see how this all blends in nicely with the background and this still stands out quite because I haven't gone over it with ink. So that's what you're just going to have to think about. Um, and that's why I like to ink the background before I stick it on because then when you ink over it to blend it in, it doesn't, you know, it's not a completely different colour. Oh, it's a bit, still a bit sticky. Wants to come with me all the time. There you go. You see, it's blended in much nicer now. Well, I think it's much nicer. You might not think it's much nicer. I didn't blend this one in, so I'm just going to blend this one in. I also think it just like knocks it back a bit. Stops it looking quite so new. Don't have to do too much on this one, it's quite dark anyway. Okay, so there we go, we've got those two. Okay, and then on the front one, do I have time? Yeah, it's quarter two, it's fine. So on the front one, I think I'm going to go for... Maybe going to go for that. I've used one of these already as well. So when I made that card, I don't know whether anybody saw that when I posted it, I made that card, um, I made a playing card with this, with an owl through it. There were two separate napkins, so i um, starting to get a bit giddy with my crafting with napkins. It's better than knives, Dave, you don't really juggling with knives, that'll be the next thing. Today's hour is watching me juggle with knives. No, nobody wants to see that. 
to cut it would be a cut something off it's a wrap yes it would be a wrap it'd be wrapping me in bandages oh come on 45 minutes to peel a napkin apart so I'm not going to use all of this in fact i'm just going to tear it rather than water tear it i think i'm going to use it to about there Just going to tear it out. If you don't have a water brush and you want to use something watery, then use um, just a, a, a plain, uh, what are they called, paintbrush dipped in a little bit of water. Um, don't over water it, you'll just end up with like paper mache. So, but, but yeah, make sure you get a nice. Feathered edge, that's the word, feathered. So, there we go, folks. So I'm going to have this kind of here, I think, maybe, with an, maybe a couple of mushrooms at the side. I'm not, I'm not sure about the mushrooms at the minute. I'm just going to go over this a little bit, just to knock it back a bit. I'm not going to put the newsprint on this one. I would possibly have laid it up with some book pages. I just don't have time. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Keep saying that. It is what it is. Because it's definitely not what it isn't. Okay, I, w I think I would have liked a bit of... Excuse me while I reach into camera. Oh, what is that? What is this? This is not a book that I want. Where is it? <laughs> okay, so this has got an interesting tree on it. I don't care. Just don't like the blank edges, that's why I tear those bits off. You can leave them if you like. So, yeah, I'm just I just wanted a bit more dimension, and like I say, I probably would have laid this up a lot more than this, um, but I don't have the time. Um, I don't tend to now. And we haven't even stuck the thing in. So, might finish this envelope, uh, envelope off, off camera. Okay, I hope that's okay with you guys. I'm sure it is, because, like, you, you're just all that, sat there thinking, Go on, we it! So, sorry for leaning into camera. So, I'm going to have these... I'll decorate the back when we've kind of got it in. So we're going to have these like this now. Which do we want on the front? I think the purple one, the darker one. Okay, so we know that they cross over there. So we know that we can glue that bit. Take the lid off this and just see how messy this has got. Because I'm sure this has sprung a leak. I oh, know it's not too bad. So just a bit of PVA to give it a bit more strength. Make sure that you've tried to like cross them over because like if you think about it, you don't want this busting into this hinge too closely, otherwise it won't close properly. Okay, so those two like that. And then I'm just gonna glue. So I'm not gonna glue this because this is the bit that's gonna open. I'm just gonna glue on the envelope flaps. If that makes any sense to anybody, I hope it does. Don't worry about what the back looks like. You can decorate that later remember with this kind of pva less is more you don't know able to saturate what you what you're doing i've just had to tell my brain don't glue this bit it's a bit like you know when like you say when you see a friend or something and say in your head i don't know if this happens to other people this just happens to me you say in your head don't say it don't say it don't say it and then you just say it so Pop that into 
There we go. And now you're going to ask me what I'm, how I'm going to get this into here, okay? So I want this to flip up, and what I'm going to use is... You could just use a piece of paper, but I happen to have this gum strip stuff that I absolutely love and tre treasure, cherish. You can't get it. Well, I certainly haven't seen it. Again, I'm not going to worry too much about how it looks. Aesthetically, I will just say, you've got to bear, bear in mind, if you're going to use a hinge of any kind, you want it to last, okay? Because it's one of those things that's really hard to replace once it's all on. So if you double it up or, you know, if you're going to use some sellotape or some washi tape, double that up as well. Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, well, I have a lick. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that onto there. I'm going to make it look a bit more interesting by tearing the edge off here. And for me, it's all about aesthetics. It's about the little things, the bits that people notice and say, oh, that's that. Oh, I see how he's done that. And, you know, so... And he's, he's taking his time to do that to make it look a bit different. So, brown coffee, no, the twin, no, walnut stain. What's that stuck to your sponge? Get a bit of that. Put a bit of that on the edge here. Yeah, so. It's your journal. You do what you what you like, but I'm just telling you what I things that I like basically. If you don't like it, you don't have to like it. It ain't yours. So tough. Uh, so I'm gonna pop that on there. Not recommended licking um distress ink. I will just say it doesn't taste great. Uh, maybe. That's an improvement range you could make. Make your, your distress ink taste nicer. Although they would be saying, well, not sure why you're eating it, to be fair, Dave. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue that in there. Just fold it over. So I'm going to make sure that that folds over, that that will sit. So all I'm doing is I'm making sure that this, this bit sits inside underneath these two, So which it doesn't at the minute. So... Just going to cut that bit off and angle that bit, and the same with that. Cut that bit off and angle that bit. Okay. So it's going to sit in there, and all I'm going to do is glue it with a bit of PVA. You always think you're going to get a lot more done in an hour than you actually do. So, I guess it's like anything really, isn't it? We kind of underestimate. I'm going to put that on there. I realise I need to give it a bit more of a hinge. I'm going to put that on there, and then that will go on there. So, okay, so we haven't. I haven't finished it. I realise I haven't. It's 5-2. I'm probably not going to get it done in five minutes so I'm not even going to try okay so what we've done is we've created a bit of a pocket of interest here I think we'll probably have a pocket in here um so that it kind of covers all of this up but also it adds a bit more interest so maybe just a half pocket to something to tuck in we might have a, a side tuck um it might could even have a a, a gatefold um well We'll figure that out when we come to it. We will decorate the rest of the envelope so that you don't get all of these dirty marks on it. Um, but essentially, that's where we are. We'll find some way to make an attachment here so it doesn't, when you open it, it doesn't flip open like this. And that will be done in next week's video. And I hope you don't mind if I kind of finish this off camera. Um, well, finish this off live. I might continue it as a um as a a youtube upload just finishing this bit off and perhaps finishing the insides of it off 
and then we'll talk about it next week so that's it i'm i'm kind of done i'm like four minutes to i don't want to like get into something else and then like cut off halfway through um so i hope you've had fun i hope it was useful i hope i haven't talked too fast too much not enough I can't, I, I'll end up overthinking all of this if I don't shut up in a minute. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to bid you a, a very nice rest of your day. Um, enjoy it. Don't just craft. Go and spend some time with the people that you love um, and um, be kind to each other. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Be kind to each other. I love you all until you give me a reason not to. So thank you for watching me. I am going to give myself a thumbs up because like I've, you know, parked all the stuff that I was thinking about and just moved on. Um, so now I'll turn the camera off and have a bit of a cry, maybe. <laughs> so crying's very good for you. Don't underestimate how good crying is for you. And if you know guys that don't cry, then tell them they need to learn to cry because it's very cathartic. Okay, so look after yourselves. I love you people. Lots of kisses, lots of hugs. And I hopefully will see you next week for part four. Part four. Okay, so I will go. Have a lovely day, folks. Be kind. Bye. bye, 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 I need to turn the camera off, so you just have to bear with me a second. <sighs> That's me getting up off the chair. All right then, take care, folks. Bye.